In this concept of Beauty and the Beast, what if we created this environment that was totally malleable? It opens up the possibility for us to do absolutely anything. Setting our show inside the music box is going to create a true reimagination of this tale as old as time and bring it to the audience in a really new and fresh and exciting way. In our new reimagined version of Beauty and the Beast, Maurice is an artist and a music box maker, and he is also the narrator, and our entire story unfolds from within the walls of a music box. We thought a lot about how we could take this music box idea and use it as a theatrical motif. As he's telling the story of Belle and the Beast, it comes to life before you, and he opens this music box and the entire show plays out. You start to see spinning doorways, characters that move in circles, things that remind you of winding up a music box. From the get-go, we knew that we wanted to pair kind of physical, actual elements, things that people were touching and moving around with a projected element so that it feels as though our characters are really traveling to different places. We're really taking a giant leap forward with video technology and we have these giant LED walls that are gonna surround the set of the stage. And it all becomes this cohesive blend between the choreography, the movement, the staging, the actors, the set, and the video, so it all appears like one move together. What makes our interpretation of Beauty and the Beast on the Disney Dream so special is that you're not gonna see this play anywhere else in the world. It's truly going to feel like a new, reimagined, beautiful take on a tale as old as time.